So I'm just, you know, a stupid dog, and I was feeling kind of blue, you know, because the, uh, the, the lesion of skank sycophants were kind of giving me going down the road. They were kind of trolling me because of the take I made. And pretty much all the takes I make, they're not anti-skank. They're just pointing out that the skanks, you want to call yourself a skank, you want to live the skank life, it doesn't matter how many sycophants and skank worshipers there are, you still live in a skanky, anky kind of a, you know, existence. And it's, you know, far be it from me, but I mean, I mean, what am I supposed to turn my head? I'm supposed to have a blind eye. I mean, I'm a stupid dog. I mean, I call him like I see him. But I was kind of feeling blue. I was almost to tears. I couldn't even understand why these sycophants were attacking me and they were trolling me and they were giving me going down the road and they were, they were pointing out all my foibles and all my missteps, all of my inadequacies. I mean, I'm a stupid dog and all these fools that take after take after take. I mean, you know, whatever, comment after comment after comment. They're, they're pointing out all of my inadequacies. I got a lot of inadequacies, so what am I going to, you know? I mean, you got to point them all out in one shot, you know? Well, the man, he came up to me. He's like, dog. Dog, I heard you almost weeping on that last take, you know? Uh, the lesion of skanks, this, that, and the other thing, take two. The, I think it was the lesion of the skanks, not funny for one second. Dog. Do not give in to that bullshit. Don't be a puss. I mean, do not give in to that crap. What are you, crazy? You put yourself out there. You throw yourself out there. You put your hat in the ring. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta stand up. And I was like, the man, I understand. I just like, you know, it was a little bit, it was a little bit dreary. You know what I'm saying? And it was a little bit off. You know, it was, it just was kind of cutting me to the quick. And the man was like, I'm not having any of that. Do you remember, I mean, you're an old dog of 16 now, but you remember when you were five, six, seven, and sometimes some of these dogs would come around the, would come around the neighborhood with their big balls swaying back and forth, their big sweaty balls slapping back and forth, hither and yon, look like a grandfather clock, a big sweaty hanging gonads. You don't even have no gonads, but yet these dogs would pick on you, and you don't have no balls, so you're like, you know, Back when you were five, six, seven, I was like, I know the man. I remember I used to fight him tooth and nail. I was an alley fighting dog. I didn't mind fighting. And I was like, remember, remember the dog. And I was like, I remember the man. I remember very well indeed. I dream about it sometimes. I'm so old and ancient. I wish I could fight like that. And, you know, the man, one of the things was I didn't have no balls. So if it came down to it, if I was fighting a pit bull or something and I was getting my ass whipped, all of a sudden I'd clamp on them balls. I'd pull on them balls. Give him a big ball bite, and all of a sudden a pit bull becomes a little pussycat, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if it was life or death, I'd latch onto the balls. One way or the other, I'd slink back. I mean, the man's like, I know you were a ball biting son of a bitch. Every time you got in trouble, you just go for them balls, you bite them balls, and they were looking for my balls, and I didn't even have no balls. <laughs> the dog, come on, cheer up, you know what I'm Hey, the dog, remember what your mantra was? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, the man, I know well and good what my mentor was back in those days when I was five, six, seven years old. Then tell me, the dog, tell me what your mentor was. <laughs> the man, you know what it was. It was the only thing better than losing a dog fight is winning a dog fight. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, you're like a pirate. Back in them days, you were like a swashbuckling pirate. I was so young and strong, I could do it all back then. I was not I was fearless. I mean, I used to look for it. I was happy. I was happy. And that was the truth, too. I'd rather lose a dog fight than eat a steak. The only thing better than losing a dog fight is winning a dog fight. And the man looked at me. He's like, ah, now I see. You know, and he winked at me. He's like, ah, I see. You know it, dog. And I was like, yeah, man, you're right. Screw them, lesion of skanks, sycophants. The lesion of skanks, belly worshipers. Them prat dogs. Them prat boys. Them lap dogs. Them boys who worship the skanks. They live vicariously through the skanks. Hey, let me tell you something, skanks. I'm here. I'm sitting right here. I'm a young stupid dog. And though I'm too old to back this up anymore, back in the day, my mantra was, the only thing better than losing a dog fight was winning a dog fight. And believe me, I won more than my fair share. So stick that in your pipe and smoke it, you skanks. Whatever. And the man was like, 
He didn't even say nothing. He was just shaking his head, his chin up. His eyes were like squinting. He's like, had this like Mussolini sneer. He's like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 that's right, dog. That's right. You got it, dog. And I was like, yeah, the man, I got this.